In science, when we study plants, animals, the great diversity of other organisms and the places they live, one word is really important, conservation. Conservation is about caring for our planet and the vast array of life it supports. At its heart, it's about saving natural areas, plants, animals, other organisms and the places they live. Here's why it's so important. Firstly, let's understand biodiversity. It's a term that captures the number of different organisms on our planet and the uniqueness within them. Just as many different ingredients come together to make a tasty meal, our planet's health relies on the richness of organisms. And every organism, big or small, plays a part. Now, imagine some of these ingredients suddenly disappearing. That's what's happening with habitat loss. As forests are cut down, wetlands drained, or grasslands paved over, the homes of many organisms are taken away. When habitats vanish, the animals and plants that lived there are left with nowhere to go, leading many to become endangered, or worse, extinct. On top of this, there's climate change. As the Earth's temperature rises due to increased greenhouse gases, weather patterns shift and habitats change. This means some areas may become too hot, too dry, or too wet for the plants and animals that live there. They are then forced to move or adapt quickly, but not all can, leading to even more species facing the risk of endangerment or extinction. Here's another reason conservation is important. Think of the products we use daily. Foods, medicines and various materials. Did you know many of our foods, like the fruits on our breakfast table, have wild ancestors? Or that numerous medicines originate from wild plants? By losing biodiversity, we may be closing the door on future discoveries and solutions. Natural ecosystems also offer services we might take for granted. Trees, for instance, clean our air. Those ponds or swamps you see, they clean our water. Bees and butterflies, which we often admire for their beauty, have a job. They help our crops grow by pollinating them. Plus, places like mangroves by the sea or coral reefs in the ocean lessen the blows of powerful storms and protect our coastlines from weathering and erosion. Lastly, conservation is about respect. All life forms have a place in the world, and it's our job to ensure they remain for generations to come. Beyond survival, these creatures and landscapes inspire art, songs, stories, and even our own sense of belonging. So, how can we make a difference? It starts with small, everyday actions. When shopping, only buy what you really need. Using less means, we create less waste and put less pressure on the earth. Before throwing things in the trash, think about whether they can be reused or recycled. This way, we use fewer new materials and protect more natural spaces. Choosing products that are kind to the environment encourages companies to be more environmentally responsible. Knowledge is power, so the more we know about the earth and its inhabitants, the better. Sharing this knowledge helps everyone become more aware. Standing up for what's right for our environment, even in small ways like supporting a local park or green initiative, can make a big difference. By understanding and acting on these principles, we all play a role in ensuring that nature and people can thrive together for generations to come. Don't forget to subscribe!